Hey guys, I'm Eric Peterson, and I'm a men's dating and relationship coach for skillofattraction.com. And today's attraction tips video is called, Should I Contact My Ex on Valentine's Day? Now, I wanted to do a quick video on this because I've had some of you ask me this question, so I figured there's plenty more of you asking themselves the same question. A lot of people who are in a breakup or that have applied the no contact rule want to know if Valentine's Day is an acceptable reason to break no contact. And I get it. It's a day of love and romance. And you're probably thinking that if you do not reach out to your ex on Valentine's Day, that they're either going to be upset with you or they're going to think that you don't care. And it could be a stressful decision. I mean, on one hand, you don't want to break no contact, but on the other hand, you don't want them to think that you don't care. But let me ask you this. What do you think will keep you on their mind more? The fact that you're not reaching out on this day or when you do reach out on this day to wish them a happy Valentine's Day? So in this Attraction Tips video, I'm going to be discussing whether or not it's a good idea to break no contact on Valentine's Day. But if you guys have any questions, please feel free to send me an email. All you have to do is head over to my website at skillofattraction.com, click on the contact tab, and shoot me a message from there. All I ask is that you keep your questions and messages to me rather short and to the point, really just one to two paragraphs max. Otherwise, I'm not going to have time to read through it as I get a ton of emails from you guys. So if you want me to get back to you, you want to keep your emails pretty short. But I will get back to you as soon as I can. I do have to take care of my paying clients first, but if you're just a little patient, I usually get back to you within a couple weeks or so. But if you need to get in touch with me right away or you want to dive deeper into your situation, the best way to do that is, again, head over to my website at skillofattraction.com. Click on the Coaching tab, and there you'll see I have several options for you to choose from. I offer emergency email coaching where I that includes me responding to you on weekends and holidays. And I also offer bi-weekly and monthly email coaching where I will work with you throughout that time period. And additionally, I offer phone coaching for my U.S. clients. Now, if you're outside the U.S., I will have something for you guys in terms of phone or Skype coaching sometime in the future. But for right now, email coaching is the way to go. And I'll post a link to both my contact page and my coaching page in the description down below. Now, a couple years ago, I was in no contact with my girl at the time during her birthday. And I was just totally stressed and riddled with anxiety trying to decide if it was a good idea to wish her a happy birthday while I was in no contact. Now, keep in mind that we were both very much in love with each other. And while I'm not going to get into the details of the breakup, it had nothing to do with us not wanting to be with each other. However, it was her that initiated the breakup with me and it just so happened that it was like a week or so right before her birthday and every bone in my body was screaming for me to reach out to her because I didn't want her to think that I didn't care that she wasn't on my mind on her birthday I mean for one thing birthdays were very important to her but like I said we were both very much in love with each other I didn't want her to think that I didn't care but in the end, I decided to stick to no contact because I wanted to communicate to her and prove the point that if she ends things with me, that I'm not going to be part of her life anymore and I'm not going to be chasing her. Plus, the no contact rule specifically states that you do not reach out to your ex for any reason if they are the ones that dumped you. But needless to say, she was very upset with me because I did not reach out to her, but... She ended up reaching out to me later on that night around midnight or so. And after a little talking, it was actually her that wanted to work things out with me. So my point with this little story is that had I been the one that caved and acted weak, it would have communicated to her that no matter what she does, pushing me out of her life, breaking up with me, that she could have me whenever she wanted and I would be right there waiting for her. And she would not have wanted to work things out with me if that were the case. But instead, she noticed that I was strong and that if she didn't take some sort of action, she could have lost me forever. And this is one of the nice side effects to no contact. I actually have a bunch of videos about no contact. I actually have a full playlist 
filled with videos of no contact. And I encourage you guys to watch all those so you get a well-rounded understanding of how no contact works and what it means and what it communicates, just so you understand completely why you're doing this and the possible effects that it could have on your ex. However, it does communicate to your ex that unless she does something about it, she faces losing you forever. Now, if you prove yourself to be too weak, she's just going to lose even more respect for you and it will just reaffirm to her that she made the right decision by ending things with you. Valentine's Day is no excuse to break no contact. In fact, especially if the breakup is relatively fresh, she's probably expecting you to cave and end up contacting her. So I want you guys to give your ex a little taste of reality and communicate to her in no uncertain terms that it was her that pushed you out of her life by not contacting her. Show her that you're not the weak man that she thinks you are. Let her come to you. And whatever you do, do not send her flowers or gifts. I mean, this is the same thing as contacting her. This is just going to piss her off and maybe even embarrass her if it's at her job and just annoy the shit out of her. So just don't do it. If they care for you at all, it's actually your silence that will have you on their mind all day wondering if they're going to hear from you. And the more that you're on her mind, the more that her attraction for you is increasing. But that's only if she cares about you. Now, if you are the one that broke up with your ex, Valentine's Day is still not a good day to reach out to her. While she may be relieved to hear from you on that day, it's still not really a good day to do that. It, you want to at least wait till the day after Valentine's Day. And that's really only if you want to reconcile. Don't contact her out of pity. I mean, that's really just cruel. But again, this is only if you initiated the breakup. If she broke up with you, you still do not want to initiate any contact for any reason unless you hear from her first. So if you guys have found this video helpful or any of my videos helpful, I would really appreciate a thumbs up and for you to share it with any of your friends and family. And I'd also really appreciate if you hit that subscribe button down below and tick that little bell symbol next to it so you get real time notifications of when I upload new videos. And in the description down below, not only will I have a link to both my contact page and my coaching page, but I also have a link to PayPal if you deem this video worthy of a donation. So that's it for this video. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Have a good one. Bye-bye.